This is the Year 12 Methods, it's Heffernan, 2020, Exam 1, Question Number 2. Okay, so in Question 2, I need to evaluate this antiderivative. I can use the rule which tells me the antiderivative of a x plus b to the power of n dx equals 1 on a, also n plus 1, ax plus b to the n plus 1, and since I have a definite integral, I wouldn't be plusing c, I would then. So, okay. So I'm going to have 1 on a, a is 2, and n plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And then I'm going to have 2x minus 1 to the power of 5 from 0 to 1. So 1 on 10. So I'll put a 1 in there. 2 minus 1 is 1 to the power of 5 minus negative 1 to the power of 5, which is 1 on 10, 1 minus minus 1, which is 2 on 10, which is equals 1 fifth. And looking at part B, find f of x. I've been given this information, so therefore I could solve for C using that. And I've been told the antiderivative, I'm sorry, the derivative is this. So f of x will be the antiderivative of f dash of x dx. So the antiderivative of 1 on x minus 1 dx. And looking at the formula sheet, that's going to be log base e of x minus 1. And the value of a is 1, so that's OK, plus some constant c. I can sub in this information. This is y when x equals 4. So log base e of 2 equals log base e of 4 minus 1 is 3 plus c. Therefore, log base e of 2 minus log base e of 3 equals c. That's log base e of 2 on 3. Therefore, my final answer, f of x, will equal log base e of x minus 1 plus log base e of 2 thirds. And you could combine that together to give you the one logarithm of x minus 1 times 2 divided by 3.